Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have a great article for you guys from Fierce Wireless. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So I wanted to go back to this uh, T-Mobile-Nokia partnership to improve 5G FWA. After I posted that video, several people messaged me asking, you know, they were confused. Like, okay, is this a product, a gateway that I can, a new gateway that I can put in the house? Is this more network related? So I wanted to clarify that in this video. So this is 100% network related. This is this is for the tower in, in, in form of a software or hardware upgrade, depending on the situation. So this is a Nokia router that'll be added to the core that's going to give T-Mobile some scalability on the FWA product. So I'll, I'll read this out briefly to you guys. There was a uh, There was an update there. So in response to question questions from Fierce, a Nokia spokesperson said the Nokia MAG supports various deployment models, including software only, hardware only, and a combined software slash hardware approach. And then a T-Mobile spokesperson confirmed that the Uncarrier is deploying the combination hardware and software option. The spokesperson did not have a time timeline to share in terms of when the deployment will be completed. So this, in my opinion, is I think now we're going to start seeing T-Mobile make moves on scaling beyond the seven to eight million, right? Trying to keep the current base that they have satisfied and, and, and keep churn as low as possible as the product matures more and more, but also now preparing the network to go beyond the seven to eight million and, and try and make this network and, and this, this service as, as good as you possibly can. So that, that means time to market, scalability, what happens when you add the C-band and the DoD onto your sites at a bit more scale. At that point, I think T-Mobile has the optionality here and the flexibility to really go beyond seven to eight million. There was, there was a document that, I, that I've seen at the 5G Americas that by 2026, T-Mobile was planning on already being at 9 to 10 million subscribers on FWA. So that would mean they would have to make a hefty investment in 2024 and 2025 specifically for FWA. So T-Mobile always tells us that they're not investing any capital into FWA, right? They're using the extra capacity model. But what they're doing here with Nokia, that costs money. They're not getting those routers for free. And they're not able to get, you know, they're not able to add the the that in back into the core for free. They have to pay somebody to go to the baseband unit and add this in. So they are making subtle investments towards FWA. It's 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 small and it's likely within the current capex, but they are making investments towards fixed wireless access. And I strongly believe. That to go beyond seven to eight million, they have to make a bigger chunk of an of an investment. If it's C band DOD, so be it. That's still an investment to further grow FWA. Is it millimeter wave potentially? It's possible, but that again is an investment towards FWA. So no matter what T-Mobile says publicly, you know, watch what they do, not what they say. They are making investments towards FWA. And now, of course, this is nothing explosive. Like, I'm not sitting here saying that they are investing $4 billion and they're identifying and they're adding all these cell splits. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying what they're doing, right, the scalability of the product, the time to market, adding this core uh, router into the network, that costs money. It's not free. And that's an investment to improve 5G FWA. So T-Mobile is not really telling the whole story publicly, but they are making changes and improvements to try and better themselves when it comes to FWA. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if if, if this clear, clarified it for you. So this is not a, gateway, a new gateway router unit or CPE unit that's going in your house. This is strictly a software slash hardware combo 
that's going into the baseband unit at the network level or the tower level, I should say, to enhance the scalability and the time to market for FWA. So this should be a this should be a win win for for T-Mobile and the consumer as they continue to scale. I am confident that they will uh, scale past the seven to eight million subscribers. They just need to tell the market a send the market a more clearer message on how they will actually achieve this besides just telling them, oh, we're just using extra capacity. But yet, as you see it in this article, they're actually making an investment to enhancing and improving FWA. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.